Chicago Moving Company had one of the things where the dancers um, choreographed on, you know, I was a scholarship student at the, uh, at the Chicago Dance Center, and so I was in Danelle P. Lander's piece, which was fantastic and very um, angsty and perfect. That was then in the winter, and Danelle was the one who then actually started Akasha from that group that was in her piece from that choreography. And um, so the original, she did this piece called Street Music. So I think that was the winter of 79, you know, like it's a, but there were screens, like six screens and video, and there were actor movers and dancer movers, and it was, oh my God, was William Rousseau's music, uh, who was a Chicago composer, so that was a really big hit. We were supposed to have two weekends at Moming. We ended up having three weekends at Moming uh, because it was sold out all the time, all the shows. So it was amazing. And so that was a big multimedia whole. It was really exciting and it was so successful. And so Danelle decided to make Akasha. There were six of us uh, from that project and she started Akasha and we did one concert, you know, like I think we had two weekends again at Moming, and then Danelle moved to Colorado. And so the six of us were here and said, let's make a collective. And so we were a collective. So we just re we got into the collective and we did the collective for a few years until we missed out on a performance because we couldn't get together quickly enough to make a decision. So that was our rule. We all had to be there to make the decision. There were not answering machines. So if somebody was not home, you called back later and kept trying. So our last decision, our collective decision was to make the artistic director. And so then I was the director for the rest of the Kasha. To view the full Chicago Dance History Project catalog and support our work, please visit our website, chicagodancehistory.org.